this segment of AKT Celebrity Reads. I'm your host, Alexis K. Tyler. I'm a psychic medium and tarot reader. I speak to those that are physically dead yet still alive that move between here and the other side to tell their stories and pass their messages. I'm also the creator and the author of Alexis K. Tyler Vagina Power Show and Spiritual Sexuality, a theoretic anatomy. Getting ready to do a class um, this weekend, March the 18th. Probably it's going to be in the evening when my assistant is available. And you don't have to do any deep registering. It's really not that deep. It's very simple. You can put your donation, $99.99 or $100, through Cash App and make it clap. Or you can send it through PayPal, which is my email, AlexisKTylerVP at gmail.com. But PayPal takes out big chunks now. So if you're going to send it through PayPal, add $7 to it. Because it varies the percentages that they take. So when people take don't they give me donations, they take chunks out of it. That's why I, I see why a lot of people used to complain they don't like to deal with PayPal because now I don't either. Um, they don't do that with cash out. They only take out a percentage when you're trying to when you're going to withdraw. Um, so that's the only caveat there. Because if you send me send me and you say it's for the class through PayPal, and I see that they took a percentage from me and didn't take it from you, you're going to have to give me the difference. Um, if you want to be in that class. Okay, I'm going to go over some things quickly. I'm not going to stay too long in my cash up and make it clap. I want to go over some things I saw while I can remember. And when I finish this, I'm going to put the links in there so you can check it. There was a, another train derailment today. <laughs> and there was a train derailment yesterday. There was, I think, yesterday... There was a plane with two pilots in it, and the two pilots were incapacitated, and they had to make a U-turn and go back to JFK. There was an ambulance waiting on them, <laughs> but I, they're not saying their condition right now. This past Saturday, two, three days ago, there was another plane that was intercepted. Or well, they had to make a U-turn because the pilot was incapacitated. So he could not make the long journey outside of the U.S. because he had to get medical attention. <laughs> drip almighty, bitch. I don't, I don't know if I'm in a mood to be called drip almighty tonight. Supreme drip. Empress drip. Drippy AF. Because I'm, I'm not dripping right now. I'm leaking. I had to change my goddamn clothes. I'm leaking. I'm wet in this bitch. And do you see in California, and I told y'all it was water world, and water world includes snow. Because what is snow? Water. And in that snow, and in that rain, I wouldn't drink it, and I wouldn't take a bath or anything. It'll save it because it's, it, a lot of it's contaminated. Um... I'm also picking up avian flu. I'm picking up tornado, earthquake, and tsunami. I don't know what it's going to hit at because I've you know, been so tired. I haven't really focused on where it's, this is going to be. But I don't think we get tsunamis in the U.S., so it's going to be in one of these islands. Or somewhere overseas where it's close to a big ocean, big body of water where they build like that. So I don't know if this is the season or, you know, the way this weather and the way these entities are working, these spirits are working, they create their own seasons. Now, when they want to tell shit or they want to let you know, say, hello, we in the neighborhood. We finna come through here with fire tornadoes, bitch. How you doing? You know, that, it just depends on what mood they in. I, I just repeat what they say. Oh, yes. I think was it the train derailment Oh, no, I'm sorry. See, I get tired of them playing with me and fucking with me. They erased my Priscilla Presley, Lisa Marie Presley reading when she had a heart attack. 
And she came here, started talking to me about what the water, radiation, contaminated. And I saw bodies swole up in the water and black bodies swole up in the water like they swing. And lynchings, black bodies from trees like Billy Holiday saying strange fruit. They still hanging niggas somewhere around here in the United States. And I feel it's down this way, goddammit, like in the southern states. I hope it come up and come out. As I see some new news on Shanquiva, her legal team has wrote the Biden administration demanding that they speak and that they do something with Mexico. Maybe this is the perfect time for them to do it because they are reporting so many people from the United States going to Mexico, getting shot, beat up, murdered, kidnapped, robbed. Like I had told y'all a few months ago, the U.S. don't want to mess up their treaties and deals that you don't know they got going on and the millions of dollars that the U.S. and Mexico make together. So, and they're saying that Mexico cannot make the U.S. extradite the person that they said killed Shanquilla and they issued a warrant for the one person that they still act like they don't want to name, but we know who that is. Um, so we're gonna see what the Biden administration has to do. Her mother needs to be calling on spirits right now and getting people m- magic involved here to make these spirits rise up and make them take action. Or make sure they don't have any peace until they do. Because something needs to be done about this. I believe it will be done. It just is kind of moving slow and Mexico is not withholding anything that's going on. And I don't know when the where are the Cabo Six hiding. Are the rest of them functioning normally with their life? Oh, when I shared. And let me get back to the to the Lisa Presley thing. That's very important. When I shared, was it yesterday, the autopsy, new information, they said a girl, what they call it, rug burns or burn marks or something on her body. The way they said it, like drag marks or carpet burns or something. Didn't I tell you that girl told me, just like Nipsey told me, he was dragged around and moved around. She told me she was moved to different places where they were dragging and moving around. And there was more than one, one woman that had hit her. And how she said she would kick and stomp, kick in the stomach, kick in the back. Her hit, punched in the face and in the throat. I remember where well, these places that I said she was kicked because I'm not sure if they said in her stomach or hip or pelvis it was fractured back was cracked I mean face oh, oh gosh no I'm not sure if a nose I have to look back in there was a nose deviated was a septum the nose broke teeth broke Knocked out because I see it. And that uh, new information on the autopsy is confirming some of the things I said she told me. Getting back to Lisa Presley, when I said that she said swole up black bodies in that Mississippi River and death coming from the water in the Mississippi and down in the Mississippi, problems with water, contaminated water. Have they got that straightened out? Because uh, Lisa Preston told me they were deliberately, and it was radiation in the water. And then at the first time I had said it. Well, with the train derailment, and I got it on the news this morning, Excel is cleaning up a major spill at one of these plants. And I put the name of the radioactive substance that was leaking out the pipe, done broke 
and just moving down towards well, the Mississippi, <laughs> Mississippi River. But they claim in low doses, this radioactive isotope is not dangerous to humans. However, if it's large amounts of it, it can cause cancer, huh? And a whole bunch of it just released into the water with a spill at one of these plants that this company XL is cleaning up to this morning. And I looked at it and saw two years ago. Hmm. During this period, when I'm doing Nipsey readings, and he's warning about this and the radiation in the water, a spill happened then. To 21, 2021. It's been in the water. So radiation, like I've been telling y'all, but I didn't know. This had happened and where are all these different spills? And then we see that major one, and they keep saying, like the train derailment yesterday, oh, there's no report of any dangerous chemicals that were leaking out because of the train derailment. That's what they're telling you because they don't want you to be upset. We don't know. You go by what they, they, they want you to know. And then these people that ain't never had cancer in their family, all of a sudden start popping up with it in a certain area and a certain city and state and town and then start giving birth to babies that retarded and deformed with one long leg and one leg real short or no leg or half a goddamn it leg and one eye up and one down and six fingers and damn eight toes. That's see. Then they can tell you, I mean, it was nothing, you know, we did or nothing in the water when that, that train derailed and that plant, the pipes broke in now and it was radioactive chemicals in there or up there in Palestine, Ohio, you know, it's a mess up there. And they trying to tell them they're going to clean it up and trying to get them to sign forms ahead of time. They're trying to get you to sign forms ahead of time. They already know something really, really dangerous has leaked up there. And they know it's going to be up there for 100 or more years. Just like Chernobyl. Remember that happened when I was growing up. Places like that, they have real bad. And um, where is the other one? 2010. Or a radiation leak. What was that in Japan? Was it China or Japan? I remember because I was listening to the news when it happened. And uh, the Exxon Valdez oil spill. And it's been oil spills and volcanic eruptions under the ocean in California and Florida and other places in the United States where they drill and they just don't tell you about it. It ain't like you can see in here because a lot of people don't keep up with shit like that. I've seen them that Nipsey showed it to me. A lot of these places, like I told y'all, in Antarctica and Alaska, there are underground cities and military cities and they're like floors in a building. You think it's just an underground up under there? It's level one, level two, level three. It's lakes down there, valleys, earthquakes under the water, under a lot of these government parks, federal parks, under the ground that you live on, that you think is just flat and underneath there's just dirt and rock. Just like this place called Mount Weather. Within that mountain is a military base, a whole underground city. Machines, cars, trucks, weapons, food, water. Y'all don't even know it's there. Unless you're a part of those militaries and you cannot tell it. A lot of these people in military, you might think they're just in the army Navy, Air Force, Marines, and when they recruit them in there, some of them might become 
killers or spies in other countries and do dirty shit, you'll never know because they cannot tell you. That's just daddy and that's just mommy. They have to die with that shit in them. So if you ain't in them circles and you're not able to see that shit, I have somebody tell you on the low or navigate it because some of them do leak information out. A lot of people don't even think about shit like that. Just like, uh, I don't know why, but Nipsey mentioned avian flu to me. I don't know what avian flu or is avian like a bird flu, but also genetically modified like bird viruses including what I was talking about about the chickens and how they will mix with regular flu influenza and mix with other viruses to become super strains and because a lot of them have different chains different codes different chains of DNA in there that are GMO strains you're not going to be able to kill them with an antibiotic or regular medicine. And then these things will be transferred sexually um, and mixed with STD strains that include upper respiratory infections and infections of the skin. Dermat dermatology problems. Warts and skin tags and unexplained lumps and knots and tumors because some of these diseases and you sleep with these people and you don't get them tested and don't know what's in their blood or they could be taking an HIV medication or something else they keep the viral load so low they get a test for HIV it's undetectable you don't know it's there but it's little markers and things see a lot of these women are so desperate for a nigga in their life they don't even go that far. They just see him. He look good. He fine. He dick long. And they start fucking. Or a woman got a fat pussy. She done showed you some screenshots. So it's on uh, OnlyFans and shit. And you seen a fucking a bitch and two niggas or maybe a damn cat. You know, or two dogs up there. Hey, you down. You don't know what the fuck this bitch got. Nor do you care. Because you lonely. So... Hmm. We see this here, and you know I checked that shit before I put it up there today, with Jay-Z being sued by this lady, Kathy Clay, who worked with them or a company affiliated with them with that weed, and correct me if I'm wrong, Jay-Z didn't have that weed strain monogram that he promoted and then gave it to his artists that signed under him, and you know he pimping and prostituting the fuck out of them. He didn't have that before Nipsey was murdered. He was working with Nipsey, and Nipsey was under his management trusting him when he had Marathon OG. I don't hear his brother or anybody talking about Marathon OG no more. Something has happened that we don't know about. Because I don't see that strain nowhere. And some people said they smoked that weed out there in California, and it don't taste the same and give them the same buzz and shit. And I told him it was changing because they had changed, mutated the strand. He stole that boy shit and changed it around in some kind of way. And the main way I know he got in there to do it was through them contracts that Nipsey fucking said. I don't know who told. I guess that, you know, Jay-Z came at him and bought them mixtape and paid all that money for him. about bought a whole bunch of mixtapes. Guess he was impressed by that. He clearly didn't know that side of the game. He trusted his actress, baby mama, who's friends with Jay-Z and his wife and Solange and T.I. and P. Diddy and DJ Khaled and David Gross and um, Karen Silva, who was managing Lil Wayne and managing Lauren. And then she was managing Nipsey and all these peoples together and then they under and then queen of four work with all along he is in this circle here with all these thieves in the temple and he couldn't see it i guess he trusted his baby mama listening at her while he's taking dick and i'm believing that this bitch is righteous i don't who jesus and you see what it costed him don't you 
He's just like young Dolph. I got to verify and see if young Dolph also had a strain. They both were power brokers in their own right, young and rich. Having their own record label, having their own artist. Dolph was getting distribution through Gazi at Empire. You see what happened to niggas that go over there. Get killed, and then guys are getting millions of dollars in insurance and shit. And I'm sure JC got some too, along with Atlantic Records. Millions off of Nipsey and stole his shit. He had the right to do it because of whatever contract Nipsey signed, whatever the percentages are, we'll never see it. And then Karen Silver, she managing him too and managing Nara. So basically they had the inside track to all this man money, his accounts. They get their money off the top. Managers get their money for the artists do. And you agree to it and you sign on the contract. But then they was going in there digging down embezzling money deeper where he could not see it because this Nipsey's a genius so he was also strong in investments and cryptocurrency so he always had a way to make money him and his brother and his brother watched over him and his brother was his main first investor to look over him and teach him things with his dad and they were also into real estate sports investments she knew that and then Jay-Z supposed to have what a sports management company. <laughs> Cause Queen of Fool was in Beyonce's video, Black is King, with that Lion King movie a couple of years ago. They all hooked in together. When I seen that, I knew. Uh-uh. I wasn't touching that. I knew I would end up being dead. And spirits came in and told me. Sony. And my, my voice on this alarm record in 2019. I know that then somebody sent me the picture, said, Alexis, look at this. I saw Queen of Fool, Solange, and Lauren together. Oh, I said, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. They trying to set me up and take my Vagina Power catalog. And that's what they had in that goddamn contract for me. I said, no, nah, no. Nah. I'm going to give to that bitch. But now I'm drawed up, bitch. I, I don't think so. Y'all, they've been trying to steal that from me for years. And Nipsey was here because it was in 2019. And when Nipsey came in here, he was sitting in my chair with Sam Cook and my daddy. And Sam Cook, Nipsey is just like Sam Cook ass and young Dolph. Because Sam Cook was like a brother to my daddy and he was going to help my daddy. My dad was going to leave them dirty mob motherfuckers that was taking his money with them records and get with Sam Cook. Because Sam Cook was starting his own label he wanted to bring. I think he might have talked to Otis Redding, James Brown. James Brown took the oath, God damn it. He lived longer and kept singing and dancing, but you see they got his ass. In the end, and even one of his sons talking about how Jane Brown was smoking crack and on dope and beating up that white, that real pretty white lady had beat her in the face so bad, goddammit. She was on the phone talking to now one her. Love, come get me. Nigga beat went off smoking that crack. Jane Brown down there in one of them country Georgia town, beating that lady ass, going to the dentist with a shotgun, goddamn it, on his hip or down in that coat, had an inside pocket inside his coat built in for that shotgun and shit on that shit. Man, look, you know what? I didn't come over here for that. I'm sorry. How my mind go over on that? Oh, uh, get yeah, with milk. <laughs> Yeah, Jay Z, that that had that had went over there because Michael Jackson looked up to James Brown as a golf. I looked up to my dad, and my dad used to be at their house with Joe Jackson and Michael. He fell in love with my dad, and when he seen him performing when he was little, and uh, um, yeah, you know they had Michael on that shit and that purple fall doing all kind of shit to him, and the way they opened it up, they did the Jackson Five. Pepsi 
generation, goddamn it, commercial. I remember, goddamn it, because I was in love with Michael Jackson. All of us, they said, we said, wow, baby daddy, goddamn it. That was damn the Afro, big no, Michael Jackson. We still loved it, the nigga like that. It didn't fucking matter. The nigga looked like one of the niggas in the hood. That was before he became white, goddamn it, and had his skin turned with that damn vitiligo and vitigo shit. We, we love Michael either way the nigga came, goddamn it. He was black, Michael, we was in love with him. And then, you know, when he was white, Michael, first he was in between, he was white, black, Michael, mixed, Michael, and then white, Michael, goddamn But the nigga couldn't help it because of what the fuck they did to him. You know, he was coming down the damn step in the Pepsi generation. I think he might have started getting a little work done and shit. And when he was, they had the Jerry curl. They done damn rig that light up under Michael because they know Michael really was the goddamn it chosen one. The damn light fell down when he got, okay, he in position. Draw the roll, Bob. That damn light dropped down on that man's head and got with that damn Jerry Curl juice and lit the fuck up. Blow that damn man's head up on the top. Look at it, it with the crown chakra when you really think about that shit. The God self, where everything, the archetypes come up and down, you know, his creativity, his spirituality, his sexuality, his soul and shit come up and down the crown chakra. Damn, burnt that damn man head up in the top. Then, then none of the Jackson 5 and shit get burnt but him, because that was the chosen one. After that, burnt that damn man head at the root. To the point it wouldn't grow back no more. Destroy that man hair follicles and skin and shit. He was in the hospital and went through years of pain, but he never complained about the shit. He might have discussed it later on when we, we heard about it. He, you know, had all them skin grafts in his head. That man hair was burnt down to the white meat. God damn it, just was just white. Not just it wasn't even no skin and shit. Had to treat that man head. And put some skin, artificial skin and shit on that man's head. And he came out with that bandit round his head. I don't know if they burn his hand too with a glove on it. He had then that then they turned that man into a junkie. That's that's how they start opening that man up to be a junkie because he was a Jehovah Witness and a vegetarian. So he would see what I'm saying. See, they got something for your ass. See, that's uh-uh. You know what? I'll stay where I'm at, goddamn it, because I seen they were finna do it to me. They had tried it several times on me. They were finna really, goddamn it, go for the gusto this time. Nip came in, and they that's when um. Well, see, Michael didn't know they had already signed them goddamn contracts. It was too late, and that man was in constant pain for years after that. That's why you see him with them wigs and shit. I had to get that different surgery. You know what fucked that man up mentally, emotionally, psychologically? You know, he didn't know that shit. They must have sent some. I feel like this nigga want to go another way or go on his own. Yeah, we got some for his ass. For he ass. Like that shit, goddamn, when he come down on that third step. Drop the letter roll, Jim. Jim Bob. So do shit, see, and they'll send a nigga. Usually be some black folks to do that shit. This what this man is, the damn devil with some that hair sticking out like some wicks. The really some horn. Y'all think the devil got two horns when the devil really off the chain. The Jane, the, the, the damn, they have more horn than two. Like he got all them damn plaques sticking out different ways. <laughs> that nigga ain't nothing to play with. A pure damn demon. You mean a king demon? Where well, they were sitting in here and they did Sam Cook ass the same way, and some of them Italian mafia folks and white folks call and them police call Sam Cook a uppity nigga, and they did not like that shit because Sam knew who he was. Very intelligent, very charming, a very shrewd businessman, even though he was a hoe. And him, my dad will hold and fucking some of the same bitches because they had them entertainment like Harleen Harris. They had their own prostitutes inside of there like they do now. Actresses and models, real undercover. I saw a dick on the low. You know what I'm saying? They put them on in a different entertainment to be their hell and shit. Control them and get them on dope. 
they murdered Sam Cook in California. He had a record company, record label, his sole cow business partner and manager set him up and went behind his back with Sam Cook's wife because Sam Cook was finna leave her. Set that man up. Put that Chinese prostitute because there was a mob ran motel for prostitutes up in there. And that black lady was pimping. She's a madam up in there. We say, I'll put it together. Got her to lure him. That was, see, they had beat that man and murdered that man. Then she, whew, you know what? This shit make my hair hurt right now and beat up, knocked a hole in that man's face. With his, in his nose. Said no, look like it was Ella James saying it. Mm. Y'all remember that shit right there? They would not let Ella James. It was some ceremony. I don't know if, if it was the Grammys. They had Beyonce sang Ella James song. Because it was uh the movie she played Ella James character. And Etta James was upset about it, and somebody taped Etta James talking about it and released it to the public. Why did they have her singing my song? Oh, Jesus, I just got chills on the left side of my body. See, there was some left hand shit right there. When she sung Etta James' body, acting like she was paying homage and respecting her, she was doing um, the same thing, Glorilla. And that other one that Gangsta Boo did that song with doing tribute to you. We're going to vampire on your soul and energy because you were the real ones and the mother energy. And we're going to use it for the young to come up off of you. After she did that, Ella Jane died. And then Christina Aguilera was up there singing. Correct me if I'm wrong. Christina Aguilera was up there singing at Ella Jane's funeral. And I don't know what it was, but when Christina Aguilera was up there singing some red shit ran down Christina Aguilera leg like she on her pier. Mm -hmm. See, this time to the shit because look at what Nipsey said. Two women he wanted, Beyonce and Lauren London, and them the two were used with Beyonce Hubman. Because he really don't like talented, young, good-looking men that his wife would want to screw. But they want to screw her. What you do, you set him up and you metaphorically cut his balls off and cut his dick off. And stole his creation. See, that's what they do. They let people create and be real talented and successful on their own. They won't give you an opportunity. When they see you got a lot of talent and a lot of ability, if you've created things for yourself, they'll then come in, offer you an opportunity. Whether it's a 360 deal, so you, get, so you can get a piece of everything or a management contract so they can get in there and embezzle your shit and steal it and you don't even see what's going on. And knowing when something happens, do they get somebody to kill your ass? Then they fair game for the family see it and what's going on. They go in there and rape you in your asshole because you didn't sign the contract to get. I don't know what Nipsey was thinking. I don't know why he trusts these people. Lord have mercy. I seen this shit today. In 2023, it made me think of the readings I did when he told me that Jay stole from him and cloned that weed. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Nipsey had Marathon OG before Jay-Z came out with the monogram strain that is a synthetic hybrid strain. Please correct me, Lord. Y'all gonna correct me because I'm willing to be wrong. What you said, Tam, I was just thinking about that today when Christina Aguilera was saying it and blew us up. You see that shit? That's very, very symbolic. And they was pulling on that lady. Um, 
Can somebody put my cash up in here, please? It's all one word, Queen Drip King Nip, and you'll see a blue candle on my cash up picture. Queen Drip King Nip. He didn't have that strain. He copied off that boy and stole from him, and, and he looking up to like an old nigga, you know, in the game and shit, and then had Puff on that album. I don't know why he looking up to a dick sucker, but then again, you know, that's the first man that his baby mama and Cassie they in their booty buddies and pussy buddies and bumping cats and shit together when she was 17, 18 and modeling Sean John. I don't know why Nissy didn't notice. Or you know what? Let me take that back. People tried to tell him that they noticed whenever his baby mama with the dimples get with a nigga, either the nigga hurt, something happened to the nigga, or the nigga get dead. They tried, they took his friends. His friend that growed up with him, that went to school with him, tried to warn him, and he was so stubborn about it. Wouldn't listen to anybody. But you know what? He eventually found out for himself. He started investigating her and found out she was a hoe for himself. So they they might have been still fucking, but they were swinging. Because he wasn't going to be with her one-on-one no more. And he moved out. Even Tanisha said it. Towards the end, shit, he moved out. He wasn't with her no more. He was still fucking each and other bitches, just doing his thing. But didn't, you know, didn't publicize it. Didn't because she didn't feel like, oh, you know, you leave me. That's embarrassing to me. So he he wasn't gonna do that. He wasn't gonna say it publicly. He was still trying to be a gentleman about it. I still didn't see it. I want to know some verification. Somebody said Tanisha was crying and said she would take the bullets for him. If she could go back, she would go up there and take the bullets. I don't know if that's true. This is what somebody said to me. So I don't like to say things or fact until I can see the receipts on it. Just like that story. I'm telling you now, I checked it by Jay-Z being sued by a lady named Kathy Clay that worked with them and said they discriminated against her as a female, cut her out the business. And they mail and weed in the mail from California to New York when um, Jay-Z does different benefits in New York and that is illegal. But say he been doing it and getting away with it for a long time. And she saw it and she was fired. I'm not sure she quit and filed a lawsuit against him and how dirty she said he did up. This is not the first time we heard this kind of story. And so I Googled it. It's on Vibe. It's on major outlets that this six, seven days ago she filed. This is it's it, it's legit. This story is legit. I saw somebody do a video on this share, and I said, "Let me go and check this." But I could tell when I was listening to him, I said, "This is a real story," because he like he named districts and he named the a person. He said Kathy that was found in a lawsuit. And I said, "No, this is sound like something a legal document he was reading from." So I, I went with it, and then I checked it. I said, "Hmm." When I Google it, it is a fact. This is this is happening. And I'm so glad this lady is finally putting this out and telling, and this is around marijuana and monogram. It's just, you know, goddamn. Which confirms what this man told me. And, you know, I had a few black people. I remember the night I did that live and they, this bitch, a dumb bitch, sent me uh, a message on Facebook. Jay-Z didn't do that. You lying on him. He wouldn't do nothing. Like I said, you, do you know him? No, but I'm taking my son. My son got a meeting with him to try to get him a rap contract and he didn't do it. I said, why? Because you're going to go and suck his dick and get all in his face trying to get him to get your son a contract because he has the power to do that. That means he's not a treacherous, dirty motherfucker that steal from his artists. That that mean that's what that means, stupid bitch. I you know what? Get the fuck out my message. Don't ever speak to me no more, bitch. Good luck with your contract with your son, cause he's signing with the devil. And let's see how well he treats your son. Your son ain't but another piece of meat. Goddamn it, to be stabbed and filleted and gutted and put on the goddamn grill. Dumb bitch. I ain't speak to this bitch no fucking more. 
A bitch, are you saying I'm lying because you know that for a fact? A bitch, is you in your pussy? Is your pussy twitching because you have fantasy of Jay-Z making your son a multi-millionaire? And how you gonna live a rich and famous lifestyle off the back of your son's contract? Is that what got you going here? Because you can't give me no fact. You don't know that man personally. You ain't been around that man. You clearly not in that industry. I done been inside of that bitch and seen what the fuck all the dirty shit that was done to me and what I seen other women doing and other men doing and getting on their knees and all that shit that I, I, I wasn't going to do. And how people sell their soul through their booty hole. All kinds of shit, bitch. Do you know that? Bitch ain't no shit. I don't think she known. She was ready to go up there and grin in that man's face and say she met him and beg him to get her son, put her son on. Not knowing or caring or believing that you're going to have to talk to the devil. Said I was lying. I was like, you know what, bitch? I'm going to leave this up here. And... We'll just see, because time will tell everything. And we'll just watch and see if I'm lying, bitch, or is you delusional and stupid than a motherfucker, bitch. That's what we're saying. As you can see, I didn't take it down. And now I sat and I was listening to that shit today. I said, this shit sounds still relevant right now. That, that read is two years old. It did part one, part two, part three. I don't know what it did with part two, because I see the last and I put up that chromosomes part, part three. And I don't know. I said, that's what he kept saying. The baby mama tied to it. And she close to Jay-Z. And she got her cut. And her and P did it. All the men do the shit together. Fucking each other. That's what. You see, Cassie got away from and married that white man. She know what was finna go on. And she, she, she didn't want to be sacrificed. They know how he get down and steal off his ordered money. And then they end up sick and dead. Or selling a pussy and doing skin flick shots and don't get nowhere. Cause cause he makes sure they don't laugh and talk, give him a contract, take their money, try to get them to fucking suck, and then they don't, then tell everybody in the industry don't fuck with them. Basically they poison. If you don't fuck with him, I every artist I seen with him go down here or get shot. God damn it. And he's still working his shit out of Mary J. Blige cause she fucked that nigga. I don't know if she could see or got in the warning. She still got to pay that nigga rent. Paying an alimony to a nigga. That done, I mean, God damn, it's really fucked up to see somebody put him on her. See, they'll do that to when you decide you tired or you don't want to play no more. Or you don't send her that nigga over there to fuck. And when you fuck her, you fuck her real good in her ass. You understand me? And get this bitch turned out and turned on. Ask her to marry you. Jam her up with that contract, goddammit. You do shit like this. Sir. You know what? Mm. Sent her on nip because that's what he wanted. Anyway, wanted to fuck her. Said Beyonce was married. Sent. He then he came on him and she, and you could tell the way he was excited. It was so sad. Puffy gonna say it was a joke, but when what was it? Nipsey was up there, Puffy House. I don't know where they was. Cassie and Lauren was sitting on the on the sofa like they were high, giggling, falling on the sofa, laughing as Puffy's making fun of Nip. They playing Nipsey's song from Victory Lap. And Nipsey's like standing there and he's kind of moving around dancing. He's like, I'm so happy. You know, I could listen to this all night. And then Puffy got some champagne and he's looking at him like, Lauren, Lauren, <laughs> Lauren. And then she laying on Cassie. They giggling, laying on each other. Like just everything funny. Just like some stupid ass kid just laughing while your man supposedly that you in love with, your soulmate, your spirit husband, or that still live in the house with you and talk to you and shit. He's standing there and he's celebrating the album that y'all, all your friends, had their hand in and built it up so they can 
get the lamb ready for slaughter. Built it up, make it popular. Nigga get shot. Then it's worth more money. He worth more dead than alive. And he's like, I can just celebrate that puff gonna look at the camera. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> Lauren. And I said, why they send that picking at that man in front of his face? And she let Puffy laugh and pick at her man and say it was a joke. I said, no, you could tell. Nipsey was more serious about that relationship, at least in the beginning, than she was. He was always the Judas goat. He was always the sacrificial lamb. Because just like Lil Wayne said in the song, Mona Lisa, that's what she is. Set niggas up for the kid and they give her their cut, but they give her a little bit in comparison to what they get. They get all the millions and residuals. Well, I guess she gets some residual from the album Victory Lap, where she's saying Victory Lap and Nipsey ran it through every song. Lord Jesus, it just breaks my heart. It's it is so sad because they let him do that. And after he did all that and made sure that they were secure making millions off of them and fat ass DJ Khaled and big booty, goddamn it, big hip, goddamn it, BBL looking ass, goddamn it, John uh, Legend, all that shit on that P Anna or Pi Anna, as them old country folks say. Once they did that shit, that man got killed. Do y'all understand? Y'all think this is like an accident? Because Big U is friends with who? T.I., Jay-Z, P. Diddy, what this nigga name, David Gross, that was the owner in the marathon, all them friends, don't y'all see? You can look up what I'm saying to prove I'm a liar or not. And T.I. has been buddies with who? Lauren, Jada Pinkett, Will Smith, and Jada Pinkett is also under who? Queen of Four. Do you see what I'm saying? I, all them this fucking till they all go together. And they'll pick who has the most light in them that they want to feed up because all them done so they saw. And sometimes I look at T.I., I don't know what the fuck he look like because this nigga about the eyes around his eye, the ring around his eyes. He looked like that damn panda. He looked like a damn panda bear, goddammit. Just like that song, goddamn future. Panda, panda. Cause when I smoking on panda, panda. This nigga looked just like a damn panda bear with them black ass ring around his eyes. And some people say cause he only too much power and be wearing foundation around their eye and got them damn black ass ring around their eye like somebody bust them in them. Panda, 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 sucking on panda. He look just like a damn panda. A panda bear about the damn eyes. God damn it. The fuck he on? With him, we know in the movie ATL and hanging with these niggas. These niggas teach women around them how to cute women that they know niggas don't fall for. They can trick off on a nigga. They set a nigga up. That's panda, god damn it. Panda bear. We ride him. My word. We know he do that shit because we seen William and White did to them bitches in Atlanta and in California and got locked on that perk in the X. You, see, you know what? I didn't come on here for that and call that man a panda bear and all that. Mm-mm. 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 So I didn't mean that. What about when Diddy posted a picture of him and I, I mean, we know what that means. We know what the picture mean. I said what I said. I mean, you don't have to ask about that picture. It's clear what it was. Clear what Panda Bear was saying. <laughs> panda eyes. A panda eye motherfucker. That's what it is. Had them panda eyes with they, but they damn body be light. And had them black ring. They fade white with them black ring. Up under there, yeah. Panda eyes. That's what, yeah, P.E. T I and P E, aka P E. Panda. Panda. Can't just smoke on a panda. You know what? I'm finna lay down. Hey, it's time for some bullshit over here. <laughs> Tam. <laughs> Put 
that bitch with that panda up. <laughs> <Being Lucifer. laughs> I'm putting a picture in a panda with their eyes. <laughs> now, what, what did Orlando Brown say about some panda eyes? He said it to him. Man, man. <laughs> hey, Philanda, wait a minute. What? Tell me, what did Orlando Brown say about panda eyes? About panda. <laughs> what you said, boss? Oh, we just said boss baby talking about this. <laughs> oh, y'all got my back her. It's too late for this bullshit. Well, I'm waiting to see what she said. I don't know, Tam. What did what did Orlando Brown say about, about Pounder? He said, Tam, they tried to write that man off his crazy. Yeah, and because of the shit he done been through. And the abuse he done goddamn it been through. He said Michael was in close contact with Dr. Sabi at first. Yeah, and uh, what the name? Dick Gregory. But see, it doesn't matter, baby. Um, If she, well, y'all can go look back at it. You think I'm lying? They would not let, and other people agree they didn't want Etta James to sing her own song. Um, it doesn't matter if Michael had a uh, vegetarian diet and dealing with Dr. Sabian, he was sleep deprived and they're doing all kind of magic and manipulation to control his soul out of his body, and they pumping him full of drugs. Don't matter how healthy he is. Jerry John, y'all look at the from what they say. Um the divine Will Smith, Ray Orlando Brown. That's why he liked it. You know where? And they they ain't the only one they had nothing doing bisexual and gay or just him and his wife. That's what you gotta do out there. If you wanna go to the next level and you got to take somebody's soul, and at a certain period of time, you got to do human sacrifices, just like Kanye said, it's a lot of murders going on in L.A. and it's a lot of people missing with those celebrities because you got to murder somebody to be famous and to become more valuable and get more money and even consume their flesh. Anyway, channel so tired. Y'all right, hit my cash app. Make it clap. Y'all let me come back. This is heartbreaking to me because you know i remember when i i forgot where i said we had a date night and he he goes to my closet he likes certain shoes and he looks through there and see dresses when we we go out i literally get up out of my body and i go where he wants me to go and he liked a blue gown and he liked these shoes that i i hold my leg up in that reading i posted in the community forum where uh, he likes with the toe out and it's it's like three straps will come over the toe it's about three inches high, and he likes to buckle the strap around my ankle. He, he likes that type of shoe. That's one type of shoe he likes. That's the first one he, when he came, he started, he picked that shoe and shoes that look like that out of my closet. That's when he took me to Crenshaw, and I saw how he went over to that store voluntarily, but he did not know. I, I'm, I'm still, to this day, I don't know. Because I kind of believe he was kidnapped, he was ambushed, and I know he wasn't shot at 3.30. Because we know his brother was called really early in the morning. Grandma Hustle said, and he took off running up there, Nipsey was shot and dying early over in Sunday morning. Five, six, seven, as the sun was coming up. I don't know how they did that since Cowboy was there and Cowboy was a part of it and they drug him around. They took him inside of the building and Cowboy and they dug in his pockets and robbed him. So if he had anything on him, they took it. And when he was walking up there, he let me see and I said, why are you coming over here? These people don't like you. Especially these old niggas, big you and all that, did not like Nipsey. He disliked him and that nigga Carrie Latham, I think is related to Big You and friends with him and brought his son or nephew or something over there because it was young niggas and old niggas. And they told the old young niggas, you want to come up? The old niggas said, y'all going to participate in this murder. 
And they act like they didn't want to have a friendly conversation, like Nipsey really didn't completely see this coming. And I'm just looking at him when he takes me there. And I actually project with him from Atlanta to LA. And I'm just like, you see why you can't see it? These niggas don't like you. You feel you walking up here being respectful to these old niggas and these young niggas. And they finna kill you. They already had the guns hidden on them. He couldn't even see that shit and feel that shit. Then I seen him shoot him in the back of the head and in the back. I said, oh my like, no, no. No, I no, please, no. I just oh my god. And he he wasn't dead. But he was almost like he was unconscious, but the body was still alive, but not not really conscious. If he was, he was in and out. It happened so quick. And as he did, I just don't know how could he have been around these people for years and not know that cowboy and all these niggas was around. Even some of his age didn't like him or was jealous of him. They were not his friends because I could see it on him and see the ones. I just wish to this day that somebody would show me the pictures of everybody that was there because I seen a young nigga that was standing there that took a shot that was not Eric Holder. And he's in that stove and working that stove and be around his friends and family and shit and help shoot that man. This is and when I looked at that today and re-listen to myself say that shit and talk about that weed, I was like, oh my God. And now, two years later, this is some proof this man is dirty as hell around weed. If he was male, if he's doing that, just like Tory Lane daddy said about him and how he did him, and then he offered Dolph a $22 million contract, Jay-Z did. I put the video on my community forum, and Dolph thought about it. He said, this is not the right thing to do. I'm not going to do this when I can make $100 million by myself and control myself. After that, you know, this young Dolph got shot 22 times. See that? He went, he went side with him. And see, they'll still do that and kill your ass if you don't want to play. You see what I'm saying? Then they laugh and try to act like it's a joke. And you could tell Diddy was, didn't like Nipsey and was jealous of him. He, he, he didn't really want some of that thing. See? He really, really want some of that steel Peter in his ass. He know Nipsey didn't play like that. Anyway, you sound Miss Crenshaw before Nip passed. It's not the same. No, it's not the same. Bro, he told me he was very upset about that. He went through all that and fought and held on to that property. And then created partnerships and had other owners. They were leasing it to them. But see, I think I had mentioned that before about them where they didn't have the money and they were then became tenants instead of owners of the property. I had already mentioned that a couple of years ago. They did that to him on purpose. Huh. Anyway, I don't feel good. It's going to make my head hurt, honey. I just came from down there marinating him some meat. I said, God damn, babe, you said this. And you see, even when the derailment happened yesterday, and I think the derailment happened today, this is after I said it. And you see, I said it last year, and it's continuing to happen. And then I thought I talked about them pilots. Y'all see that? How do you pilots coming up? And this happened today. And I think what happened yesterday, one Saturday, the pilot fell out on and behind the goddamn it wheel, the plane flying in the air. Pilot become incapacitated. On one flight on one airline, they have two pilots up there in case something happens to one. They have a backup. Both goddamn it pilot. I don't know if they had went in that same batch, goddamn it. Taking some of that goddamn it ecstasy and that powder, that shit mixed with some fentanyl, nigga done fell out of there. But both of them, goddamn it. See, this is after I said the shit. Oh, a week or so ago. I really didn't notice this shit until Nipsey said it. 
Now these motherfuckers falling. I believe they on that nail. That F fucking nail. That F Weezer baby, goddamn it. They is on that nail. They getting that bad shit. I don't know. Somebody on that plane gave it to them. They got that bad batch of that shit. Huh? Uh, they done went and got that thing. You see what I'm saying? Where you see all these athletes falling out and the athlete done had a heart attack. He didn't want to talk about it. You know I can't see it. You know, they done got that thing in their arm. You know what I'm talking about. Hmm. That ooh wee. And a lot of these young people that's going to the clinic getting that thing in their arm, you know, that needle. Um, these young people be teens and twenties having a heart attack. These athletes, I believe some of them pilots got that thing too in their arm. <clears throat> you know, I said it on my own channel, said that somewhere ill, goddamn it, call. You know, they like to fuck with me. Anyway. I'm finna lay down this shit the way they did Nipsey. Oh my god. I'm just glad y'all seeing how dirty people is. Because I tried to tell y'all that man came in here and told me Jay Z act like he was his friend and smoking weed and shit with him and congratulating him and proud of him because he's so young. Because Jay Z ain't never did it. Jay Z P did it. T I and them ain't never did what Nipsey and his brother did and came up out the mud and out the trunk and had their money by themselves. They dealt with corporations and the millions and billions of corporations then bent over on their knees and on their back and shit. They never stood alone like that. And you look for people that do that, then they come in like they like them, get a contract, then they rape them, steal from them, and cut their juggler. That's what Nipsey said. He cut his juggler and drowned him. That's how he felt like that was his big brother. He looked up to that man, and he shouldn't have never did that. Because you see what it gets you. <laughs> Puffy, T.I., and I, 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 you know, I think I T.I. had a record label. Puffy got one. Rock Nation got one. Do you ever see any big stars coming out of there right now that stay? Mariah Carey left, Rita Ora left, the other Rihanna left. Do you do you see what I'm saying to you? It ain't that mean. Nipsey brought it to my attention. And I'm saying, you know, like I said, Lord have mercy. This is this is heartbreaking. This man lost his life over some devils coming to him. And he had a dream and to teach the children and build up his neighborhood and low-income housing and help people feed themselves. And they used that man like they was about that. And use that actress that they all friends with and set that man up and killed that. Guy. Whew. Mm -hmm.